Well, I think the uh, age of the craftsman is pretty much gone, but there are a few craftsmen around that uh, still work with their hands and have pride in their workmanship. The type of work I do for the most part could be achieved with modern equipment, uh, perhaps even more efficiently. But uh, I have an appreciation of the older machinery in just about every direction, so it's, it's only natural that I would have a line shaft shop and uh, turn of the century woodworking equipment to make my parts. But a lot of the hand tools, um, and chisels and whatever, that type of thing can be old or new. And as long as they're sharp, they'll serve the same purpose and do as good a work if they're guided in the right direction. A spoiled rotten hound dog. All the machines I restore I consider my children, but uh, living with old machinery and clocks, there's, uh, they each have their own personalities and uh, they are like old friends. Instead of turning the TV on, I'll turn the orchestrion on, and uh, uh, if I'm in a classical mood, I can listen to Beethoven or Mozart, or I can uh, put a popular role on and hear shotgun rhythms from the temperance era, uh, waltzes, foxtrots, and uh, whatever you want, and uh, does, never fails to lift my spirits if they should need lifting. Many of the instruments I work on are basket cases, and uh, Val Wright should just be worth a few parts, but uh, I think because of their uniqueness and rarity today, they deserve the uh, respect and the time uh, involved to bring them back. It's a great reward to take one of these instruments that's a basket case and hasn't played in, in 75 years and bring it back to life and uh, get music from it. Mm -hmm.